scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. This week I'll be discussing something that isn't, strictly speaking, Doctor Who. I genuinely hope that you don't mind. You see, over Christmas, the BBC had a rather special little thing. Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. My methods of detection are based on an almost unswerving belief in the fundamental interconnectedness of all things. Stephen Mannon is... Dirt gently. Don't you get it? These are all part of a web of events connected by a common thread. In the first ever TV adaptation of Douglas Adams' Holistic Detective. No doubt you're still clinging to the misguided belief that it was all just a coincidence. But it was, wasn't it? Dirt gently, coming soon to BBC Four. Douglas Adams' novel had finally been adapted for TV, which is nice. Which is very, very nice. I am as most of you already know, an enormous Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy fan. If you get me drunk enough, I will do the entire first three hours, doing all the voices, and... and that's not important right now. Suffice to say that I'm quite a big fan. I'm a big fan of Adams' work in general. His worldview, the fact that he introduced Lala to her now husband, and a host of other things. Adams did go before his time. However... The reason that I can legitimately talk about Dirk Gently here, apart from the fact that this is my show and I've got to answer to no one, is that Dirk Gently is not, even remotely, Sharda. Sharda is the missing Doctor Who story from one of Tom Baker's final seasons. The story consists of Tom's Doctor and Romana visiting a professor who has a time machine in his study, collecting the ancient and worshipful lore of Gallifrey, a book, coming to terms with and dealing with a student at the university who has borrowed the book and knows about the time machine and so on, and defeating a villain. See, nothing whatsoever to do with Dirk Gently, the novel. The fact that the novel is set at a university, has a time machine and a study, and many other similarities, we really should just let go. Because Adams really did like stealing from himself. Sharda was never meant to be seen by the general public. Doctor Who and the Cricket Men was never ever seen by the general public and never got further than, say, a proposal. This proposal was reused and became the story that we now know and love as So Long and Thanks for All the Fish. So I can't blame the guy for using an idea again. Dirk Gently... The novel also steals, rather nicely, from various plot points contained within The City of Death, also by Adams. But then again, he'd stolen a lot of those items from other people. Mr Conan Doyle, I'm looking in your direction. But that's not important. The important bit is that finally, Dirk Gently has been made for TV. Now, in the book, he is described as a rather portly gentleman, curly hair, large red hat, fedora. So here, of course, they've hired Stephen Mangum, who has at least got curly hair. But, for me, he's great casting. He's got wonderful comic timing, and it works. He believes in the part, which, take it from me, takes some doing. There has been another version of Dirk Gently on the radio, here played by Harry Enfield, an English comedy actor known for silly voices. <laughs> silly voices, good lord. Catchphrases, and at the minute one of the best satire-type programmes on TV. But again, not important. The radio version did stick a lot closer to the original book. But here we have BBC Television's BBC Four channel presenting us with a one-hour version. Gone is the Electric Monk. Gone... Two is the business with the sofa. 
Lots and lots of little things are missing. The overarching storyline concerning a man's dead boss is used as influence. Breaking in to get a girlfriend's tape off an answer phone is no longer needed. Because let's face it, everything's electronic these days. I'm sure Adams would forgive people for updating it to email. No, all of these things aren't an issue. Here it's played for laughs. The business with the psychiatrist's office works perfectly, and it fits with the character of Gently. The character of Gently as I know it, rather than perhaps as other people may read it. I genuinely like this show. I don't really want to give away the plot, because let's face it, it only lasts an hour, and I'm sure you'll be able to track it down in one way or another. It felt like, and I hate using this phrase since 1996, a backdoor pilot. No, it's a lovely story. Acted well, performed well, written with the same heart and intention as Adam's, but on a BBC budget, a considerably reduced BBC budget. It does feel like, say, Jonathan Creek, with an Adam's touch. Of course, the time travel aspect's there. God knows alone how they could do it. There are nods to the book, of course, things like living on Monk Street, and the electric monk is written on the board that gently whitewashes before he starts making notes for his new case. Its heart is in the right place. The characters are in the right place. If we got another series, God only knows how they'd do it. Would Thor make an appearance? I can only hope. Yes, as a one-off, it worked very, very well. The idea of an iPod or iPhone that could last 16 years on one battery, I find more incredulous than the existence of a time machine, but that could just be me. So, like I said at the top of this, Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency is not Sharder. Long, dark tea time of the soul is something we can all hope to see at some point. And I liked it. I really did. And I hope we get more. Here's a word from some people that you may or may not know. The DWO Who Cast is returning. Join your new hosts, Cameron K. McEwen and Tony Galichon, as they venture into the furthest reaches of the Doctor Who universe to bring you brand new features, interviews, reviews, competitions and more. Keep watching www.dwohocast.com for further developments. So until next time, be seeing you. You have been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Doctor Who and its associated shows are all trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Contact us at tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk.